I saw Justin on you. So we getting mad up here. What's good, Ike? Oh, Yo. it's Matthew Brand in effect. What's good, what's bro? Good, what's good? How you doing, man? Chilling, bro. Chilling. Chilling. All right. My hair is so. crazy. I need a cut. <laughs> but we on here for you. My son Pat just joined. We about Pat, to get... is in, Pat is in the building. All right. So first and foremost, how are you and the family holding up during this quarantine? Uh, For the most part, we've been doing well. You know, we're healthy on this side. But um, unfortunately, my dad did get the virus. And, you know, I wasn't yeah. going to share that. I wasn't going to share that. But I thought it was important to, you know, spread awareness and really uh, – Show people that, you know, no one's invincible. Anyone can get it. You know, it's important to practice social distancing. And, um, yeah, just stay safe. Everyone stay healthy. You know, he was uh, in the hospital. It was something that was very serious. Luckily, he's home now. Um, he's getting better. Uh, so, yeah, he's a fighter. So, you know, you just hope he keeps improving. But I just wanted to share that just so people know it's real. And But uh, we're good here. We're healthy. And uh, we're staying safe. So. That's all that uh, really matters. All my guys joining. Yo, what's good, Nas? Just, oh, you got, Nas. you got. Um, just want to let you know that your pops is in. You know, my prayers. I hope he continues to stay blessed and stay well. You too. Appreciate please. that. Appreciate and the rest that. of the family. So, uh, I appreciate you for sharing. I didn't even know that we talk pretty much every day. So, yeah. all right, we're gonna we're gonna keep it rolling. Though. So, what have you been doing to stay active in a basketball shape, if anything? Um. Uh, I've been, I've been, uh, I've running, I've been running a lot. So cardio is really important. Just staying safe, staying up, uh, not staying safe, staying in shape. Uh, so I've been running a lot outside. I did my first half marathon. So, you know, I'm finding goals to still uh, reach and accomplish during this time. I think that's really important that, you know, we make goals and we uh, continue to um, accomplish those even, you know, with these restrictions and everything, keeps us motivated, keeps us working. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a treadmill in my basement. So I have that for cardio as well. And I'm also lucky enough to have access to a good amount of weight. So, honestly, I've been I've been taking advantage of all this time to really work on myself, work on my body. Um, and I'm ready. You know, I'm staying ready. So, hopefully this ends soon. But whenever it does, I'll be ready to jump right back in and, you know, be in tip-top shape and hopefully be ahead of the competition. Like Dom was saying, I'm using this uh, as an opportunity to, uh, you know, progress and uh, be ahead of – hopefully be ahead of some people. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Um. So being a senior at stepping at and knowing this is like your last go around this year with all the guys, how did you feel when you heard about the news that the basketball season had ended so abruptly? Uh, well, it sucked, obviously. I mean, especially as a senior, you know, it was really upsetting. Um, but uh, personally, it really sucked because, you know, I didn't like, obviously, we lost in the championship last year. Um, I hated that, especially personally. You know, I felt like this was a year for me to really, like, redeem myself and, you know, show what I was capable of again and, um, I really wanted the playoffs in that championship game. And, you know, I wanted to go out with a bang. You know, I, I was lucky enough to get a ring my sophomore year. But, you know, I wanted another one. And um, yeah, I love my team. You know, with the four seniors, you know, we were all really committed. <clears throat> committed, And we all really wanted to bring that ring to the school. And um, it sucked because I think uh, everyone wanted to see that Luha matchup. I think we would have got that. I think we would have handled business in the Catholic chip. But uh, yeah, we we, I think uh, the state needed that. The country needed that. That would have been crazy. And um, I think we were uh, firing on all cylinders. I think as a team, you know, we're finally healthy. That's been the theme with Stepanak these past few years is health. Yeah. Um, you know, with AJ and myself and a couple other players. And, you know, to have seven, eight, nine guys all performing at the highest level at the right time, I think it would have been really special. Um, and it's just unfortunate we couldn't uh, show that fully. I mean, we had the opportunity to raise games lit. That was great. That was a great win. You know, we got that done. But – uh. I think it just would have been great to uh, have that um, opportunity to show that, especially what we are fully capable of as a team. And I think that's also a good testament to, like, the coaching, too, because you all – like, even the others. Like, you, everybody talks about AJ and RJ, but the others started coming together and producing. And yeah, whether exactly. Whether it was you, whether it was just, like, you know, you guys were doing the little things to, to supplement them. So, and it was just oh, – everything was clicking. Yeah, and that race um, game, you saw Justin, and Luke and Joel, yeah. especially all step up. So, you know, like I said, we had eight, nine guys – performing at the best. So that would have been that would have been real special to watch. For sure. Um just to touch on something that you you just mentioned, going through injuries and having to fight through that, like and just also compete for playing time because you know sometimes when you when you get hurt you lose shape. Like you get out mm -hmm. of shape and you, you lose your place in the rotation. Plus seeing as you know some of the role players that you guys have were pretty good too. So what did you learn about yourself? Like as a at personally because I know that, that takes you know some that's a kind of a confidence um, hit in a sense because you go yeah. from you know being this 
first person off the bench or even starting to like fourth or fifth off the bench. So, mm-hmm. uh, well, I mean, first and foremost, like just with me and my mentality, I think you just show me that I'm like a dog. Like I'm gonna be honest. Like you know, I really attacked recovery. I attacked physical therapy head on, and uh, it was really just newfound motivation. <clears throat> it's like my voice keeps cracking. It's like the cliche. Um, you know, you don't know how much you love or appreciate something until it's taken away from you. And uh, it really just gave me newfound motivation. I'm working harder than I ever have. Um, So, I mean, the process was tough, obviously. You know, I've been injured before. I've been hurt, but it's never left me out uh, as much as it did, like, really in season a lot. So that was something new, and that was something really difficult, especially being a senior, you know, trying to get recruited, trying to get more uh, looks and opportunities. So, you know, that sucked. But right now, you know, mentally, uh, I'm in a really good place. Physically, I'm in the, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. So it really just pushed me harder. And, you know, I used it uh, to my strengths and it motivated me more than more than ever. So I'm just ready for the next chapter, ready to get back to, uh, I mean, I've been working, but ready to get back to playing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it was it was good, you know. I mean, it wasn't good, but, you know, it, it was something I was able to turn into a positive. And that's what, that's the most important thing. I bet. Um... Sean, what are your questions? You could drop them in the comments and I'll read it if it's good. Um, all right, but keep going. So how was it like playing on the national scale this season? Because uh, I know that's something that was a pretty big adjustment for you guys. And just, like, having every, like, reputable media brand mm-hmm. covering you from, like, the slam to ball is life. To, to moving pictures. So... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to shout you out, you know. Yeah. But how was, like, how was that? Uh, I mean, it's it's great. It's really fun. Uh, every game is like a crazy atmosphere. Um, it uh, motivates us, you know, to play at your highest level, to play your best. But, I mean, especially for someone like me, it's an opportunity every single time. You know, I think we saw, you know, when I had that, you know, big senior night, how much, you know, blew up and everything because of slam, because people like you. And, you know, for someone like me who might not be on everyone's radar or as high or, you know, whatever, who gets all the attention, it's always an opportunity. So, uh, you know, that's what, you know, I really see it as. But, you know, it's great exposure for our team. Um, you know, you guys are all very talented, so all the videos and the pictures and everything, you know, it's all great to see, and, you know, we love it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we love the national attention. You know, we got a taste of it last year, so we knew we was coming into uh, this year a little bit, but it's all really fun. I just wish I was able to play in stuff like City of Palms and Slam Dunk, but, you know, they were still there at our games when we came back home, so it was great, and, you know, I really enjoyed it. I know everyone enjoys it. Yeah, what are they saying, bro? <laughs> um... All right, we'll keep it going, bro, because we're running, we run, you know. So, um, I know we kind of touched on this earlier, like, personally, but so what schools, like, personally have accepted you thus far? Because I know you've been doing, like, the application process and going through that. And do you have any plans on hooping at the next level? Um, definitely hooping at the next level. Um, you know, I applied to a lot of schools. I got into a lot of schools, you know, academically and everything. But uh, I'm down to two options. I'm hopefully um, going to be deciding in the coming weeks. Um, two kind of different uh, routes, but both are going to have me playing at the next level. And, you know, that's a blessing in itself. And I'm just excited for that. So that's going to come soon. No, it's not UNC. It's not Duke. Roy should have swung the walk on, but he didn't. But, um, you know, that's neither here or there. RJ, good luck. But, uh, yeah, so that, that decision is going to be coming soon. Hopefully just figuring a few things out. And, yeah, not going to give the specifics out. So y'all can see soon. But, yeah. Yes, sir. Do I get to do a, a, a commitment video? Is this, is this what we're doing? A video? Shh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't do know I if it's do safe, I have but... to come to Westchester? You would have to come to Westchester. We got to do it at my home court. We, we can All figure right, that we'll out. See, we'll All see, right. See. Um, yeah. Something I added. What? So who are some players you've modeled your game me, after RJ, me. or no, look just... up to? Uh, Who do I model my game after? Um, my two favorite players are Steph and KD, but I really model my game after J.J. Redick. I love C.J. McCollum. I love how smooth he is, but I love J.J.'s ability to shoot the ball. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, now he's kind of turned into a catch and shoot guy, but in college he was a big pull-up guy. He was like 20, 25, 30-point uh, per game scorer, so he's a stud. Um, and I really love Colin Gillespie at Villanova right now. I watch him a lot as someone who's trying to, you know, become more of a point guard. Uh, R.J. didn't allow me to do that at Stepan X, so I just have to shoot threes. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, Man, so I've, ne- I've never that. seen you. I've never seen you dribble pull up in my yeah. life. Yeah, uh, that's a lie. That is, that is a lie. You have definitely seen it, um, and there's video evidence. But um, yeah, and Dante Divincenzo, he inspires me a lot. So I really look to him. Who? Dante Divincenzo, the guy that went for 35 and then over his chip. He's a six man. Stop. 
He's on Milwaukee right now, making that NBA money. So, gotcha. Um. All right, let's go. All right, shout out a couple people who have been instrumental in your growth as a player and a person. Uh, first and foremost, obviously my <clears throat> parents. You know, I think they're personified, exemplify uh, hard work and dedication. So I always looked at them. Um, two people, basketball, basketball wise, that have really uh, helped me was no one's gonna know these people, but uh, probably, but Heath Miller. Um, he runs his thing precision elite training. He's someone I worked with throughout middle school. And then um, this guy, Tim Munch, is another trainer that I worked with. Not PSA Munch, I wish, but uh, Tim Munch. Um, he's uh, someone I've worked with the past few years. And then uh, someone that's not really like a model for me, but someone that inspires me to be good is my little brother. So I can be a role model for him. So he motivates me to uh, be a, to mold myself into that better person, into a good person. So, yeah. That's tough. Okay. All right. So what are three things you would like to tell kids in re- like in regards to the process you went through who may be in similar situation in terms of like, you know, not necessarily like a star player, but, you know, still putting in a decent role on the team? Like, what would you like um, to tell them in terms of like, what would you recommend them in, in that aspect? Like for them, like in recruiting, like to get recruited, like to stand out yeah. type of thing? Or, yeah. um, so with recruitment, I'm going to touch on three things. As he said, two major things. I prepare for this one. Um, use your coaches. Um, hopefully, you know, I was lucky enough to have someone like Pat who knows a lot of people and knows a lot of coaches. So utilize your coaches, get on them to send film. Uh, I know Pat did a lot for me with that, but also yourself, send film yourself. There's a lot of schools, especially outside of your state. If you want to play outside of your state, there's a lot of schools that don't recruit outside really of like, you know, a few states. So send your film out yourself. I wish I did this more. I wish I was more proactive a little bit with my recruitment and sending my film out myself. So definitely do that. Send your film out um, and get on your coaches, whether it's your AU or your high school coach, have them work for you. You know, it's tough, especially when you're not um, <clears throat> 3.9 is my GPA, unweighted, especially when you're not like the, uh, you know, the biggest, you know, you got to work uh, yourself and work with your coaches. Um, and uh, AAU is a big thing with uh, recruiting and getting recruited. So my biggest advice is don't spend <laughs> – don't spend your time trying to always play on the EYBL or the UAA or the gauntlet. Find a team with a coach that knows coaches. We are going to play. We are going to get a, a great opportunity to showcase your skills. You know, sophomore year, I played with a team that wasn't on the circuit. We went to Fab 48. We, had, we went to UA finals. We had Michigan. We had Oregon. We had every high major on our sideline. You don't need to nece- necessarily play um, on the EYBL or any of that. Find where you fit and find a coach that knows people. No, that's true. And, uh, I, I was on the um, the Adidas circuit, and I that's I met Roy on the Adidas circuit. Mm-hmm. And people would downplay the Adidas circuit and always say like, "Yo, IBL is the best circuit." But Roy was baseline. Yeah, and uh, thirdly, so. yeah, it really doesn't matter. Just and thirdly, um, what was I going to say? Uh, be thankful. Any opportunity you get, three percent of high school players get to go to the next level, and one percent go D one, and zero point zero three two percent go to the league or go pro. So. Be blessed and be thankful for any opportunity you get, D1, D2, D3. None of that, excuse my language, none of that shit even really matters after. No one's going to really care. Yeah, you're cursing on the live, matter. Matt. Yeah, whatever. I don't care because this is important. <laughs> a lot of people really, it really doesn't even matter after high school. Like, a lot of people aren't going to care. Um, and uh, prioritize academics this is the fourth thing. Prioritize academics. Like I said, not, not a lot of kids, almost no one goes pro. So make sure you get a good degree. Make sure you're uh, putting yourself in a good academic uh, situation. Definitely prioritize that. All right, Pat, yeah, ask uh, a question. Higher GPA right now, Jaden, Robert, Luke, or Matt? It's probably me. Definitely me. Cool. All right. Hold I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, okay, so some people are asking you questions because clearly you're famous. How many offers? <laughs> Dog, I had one, I had one Division one offer. I mean, I had in college. Mazzello is my guy. I had one D1 offer. Um, yeah, it is what it is, man. That's how it happens sometimes. He doesn't Where am I know. going to college? You'll find out soon. Find out soon. A couple weeks, couple weeks. Yeah, a lot of people are asking your, asking your questions, so. Any interests or offers? Yeah. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm down to two schools, so I'm not going to name those two schools. I'll find out soon. Is 30 ball math to go? I mean, I hope so. I mean, I hope so. Ooh, nah, this is a good question. Uh, what is it? What did it pop up? Maybe. I love you, Jaden, by the way. I f- love oh, you. Who's better, JV Matt or Senior Matt? 
Uh, JV Matt had uh, had a beaming green light. Uh, all I say is JV Matt had a beaming green light, and Varsity Matt had a had a dimmer green light. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Love you, Pat. Though, love you. Damn. Love you. Thank you. Dim. <laughs> Dimmer. <laughs> Dimmer. <laughs> I mean, I, I was the stud on JV, you know. Then I had to go play with a UNC and a Duke recruit. No excuses, but you get a little bit less shot. JV Matt was a demon for sure. We need to get some demons on here next time later. Who's your favorite Stepanak fan at the games? Uh, and all my guys. I know Jaden Nassar, so he wants me to say him, but we the jungle is special. Uh, they're a reason why we win a lot of games. So, uh, And everyone in the jungle. From Atlas, Henderson, McDonough, Morbell, all y'all. Liam, all y'all. All right, Matt. You got one more. Got yeah. One more. Hold on. Where's it at? There you go. How hard did you have to work, and what did you have to sacrifice? Had I'm gonna curse again. I had to work my ass off. All right, and I'm still, you know, especially with you know some of the injuries I've dealt with, especially you know, uh, you know the role I played in the system I was in. I had to work hard. You know, no matter who you are, I'm not taking nothing away, but you have to uh, work hard no matter what. Um, sacrifice. Just, you know, I'm I'm a guy that doesn't really care for, you know, like a lot of parties and stuff, but the cliche, like sacrificing maybe some of that typical teenage life, but it wasn't really a sacrifice to me because I didn't really care. You know, I had to go, I had to go to go to play um, ball in college. So that's really all I cared about. That's always been what I prioritized. So I'm not going to say I had to sacrifice a lot, but um, I've had to work my ass. I've had to work extremely hard. I mean, a lot of it goes unseen, a lot of it goes unknown, and I, I prefer it that way, you know. When I get on that stage, that's when I have to show it. That's when I have to prove that hard work, and I take pride in that. So, But I've had to work extremely hard, and I take pride in it, and I will continue to work hard to accomplish anything on the court and off the court. And I hope everyone in this live, I hope everyone that hears this works hard for what they want, for real. RJ versus Sharif 101, who winning? I got RJ all day. And I'm not just saying that. I've watched Sharif play. I got RJ all day. It's not even close. What do I expect from Step next year? Sis, I expect you not to play. <laughs> all right, man. I'm getting you off, man. That's it. <laughs> you done, all right, bro. All right, nah, but man. I appreciate you. Wait, hold on. I appreciate you for hopping on this. Uh, if you need anything, you already know. One call away, one yes, text sir. away. You gave me whenever. Um, and yeah, whenever you decide to commit and you need something, let me know. I got you. All right, I got you. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Everyone, stay safe.